Imagine this chair were made out of concrete. I'd probably need a forklift to get it off the ground. But if the same object with the same function is comprised of aluminium, I can lift it and transport it without breaking a sweat. This simple example illustrates the knock-on effects of how much things weigh. Indeed, light weighting is crucial to meeting the challenges of today's age with its new emphasis on sustainability and maximum exploitation of finite resources. And Germany is at the forefront. Back in the past, we had uh, a world divided into realms. That was metal on the one side and uh, carbon on the other side. That uh, now starts to merge. So uh, material design in future will be multi-material design where you have a combination of the two. Nowhere are the advantages and necessity of light weighting clearer than in the aerospace sector. Everything that flies, from rockets to light aircraft, needs to keep its weight down in order to go up. German engineering excellence in this area is one of the main reasons US corporation Sierra Nevada is investing 400 million euros to manufacture the short-haul Dornier 328 aircraft in the state of Saxony. The use of lightweight materials is also a prerequisite for Munich startup Lilium Aviation, which aims to build the world's first operational all-electric air taxi. Then there's the automotive sector, where every gram saved makes vehicles faster and more fuel efficient. In 2018, for instance, Volkswagen built the special lightweight mountain climbing race car, the IDR Pikes Peak using a carbon fiber Kevlar composite. And lightweight materials will also be essential in the architecture of tomorrow. They allow researchers at the University of Stuttgart's Institute for Computational Design to create futuristic structures. Like something from a science fiction movie, isn't it? The German government is offering considerable support to engineers and entrepreneurs working on this future. It has a well-established lightweighting initiative that already helps fund more than 1,000 projects in this area. And the number of companies, research collectives and other institutes dealing with lightweighting in Germany dwarfs that in neighboring countries. As this chart shows, by 2022, demand for carbon fiber and carbon composite materials could be nearly four times 2010 levels. Projected annual growth and turnover is between 9.5 and 12%. So if your work involves making things weigh less, you should consider coming to Germany. And Germany Trade and Invest can help you get started if you decide you want to take a load off. Just go to www.gtai.com. And please give us a thumbs up if this video made your day a bit brighter or lighter. Till next time.